Last time on Vampire. Is that my sister? I can't. Mary. Tell. Yep, it is. Of is course. It really, you? Oh, it's me, all right. Precious. Aw, oh, is she gonna be the villain? What is mother doing here? This time on Vampire. Hello, everybody. My name is Mathis, and welcome back to some more Vampire. It is time to go fight our sister for reasons that are actually pretty bad. Um, as the more I thought about it, the more I don't like this whole aspect of the game. Um, outside of the fact that my sister is like higher level than me and she's only been a vampire for, for a short amount of time and I'm the one that turned her not some ancient vampire makes no sense moreover we knew nothing about her her turn seems sudden and I hope it's explained later on in the game but at, at the present moment the fact that she's just evil seems kind of forced for the sake of drama and doesn't seem doesn't really hit home it doesn't really make me feel like oh boy you know this was a, a long time coming I did some horrible things it just feels forced again for the sake of just having in the drama. Name of Christ, you left me to rot in this grave. Yeah, well. Anyway, me, it's a bit of a, a finicky pick, a nitpick, but I uh, I felt important. Okay. Okay. We're gonna have to play it really slow. So she's gonna do one of these. Okay. Back up. Is this just gonna be happening for the whole fight now? Like just little explodey places? That's annoying. Uh huh, uh huh. Sure. Away Nurse Crane's mind. Hey, 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 Nurse Crane's mind. Wait, she's talking about Nurse Crane? That's not fair. I didn't mean to do that. Like, it was just one of those things where the game felt like I had no choice. Um, excuse me. Final thoughts are just What the hell, man? I'm gonna die. You know what? Just kill me. Kill me kill me first of all this fight is not fun <laughs> she has weird aoe abilities and she's incredibly powerful and it just doesn't make any sense but aside from that apparently she can just go murder the priest when she feels like it so that's always a good time <sighs> all right well, let's try again yeah i need to maybe feast on something real quick At least I should feast on something, but I'm not gonna go looking like crazy. Let's just let's just keep fighting her. Maybe we'll see a rat or something. I can feed on the priest, I think, if I really want to. Sorry, man. Nothing personal. Here we go. She can just resist it, it seems. Ow. Okay. Okay, she's vomiting. My sword just doesn't do enough damage. I think we're just gonna have to do like solo swings of the sword and then uh, heal up when we can. Okay. I didn't really leave you to die. Yeah, that was a mistake, potentially. If you're just that mad about it, definitely feels like it was a mistake that I did that. I think we just have to stay close. Give me your blood, priest. I can't stop her. I literally can't stop her. He dies. So I should kill him first, I guess. When I have the chance. Okay. Man. Done. Nothing! You're doing it! You're fighting me! Assassin. 
I'm not an assassin, girl. Oh god. Okay. I'm trying to my best to just keep beating on her. Back up. You left me kiss me again, sweet brother. Uh. Luckily her attacks are actually relatively slow. And I can build up a, a meter kinda quickly, god damn it. I'm dead. So I can't stop her from drinking the blood of the priest. I just can't. So I should drink the blood of the priest before she can. While I have that opportunity to. My my whole thing of like let her kill me, let her kill me was mostly because I wanted to see if I could st stop her from killing the priest. And it does not seem like that that is possible. How frustrating. This boss fight does not feel well implemented. Maybe that's just me though. Christ, someone help. You left me to rot in this grave. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. So she can't do it and heal up. Come to me, Jonathan. Nope. Get back, get back. Heal. I'm gonna die again. Okay, that was good damage, actually. You've burned away Nurse Crane's mind. You're a monster. Well, girl, I didn't know that was gonna be something that you were gonna care about. What have you done? Nothing. Oh God. Not particularly. Ow. I don't know how you hit me. I was behind you the whole time. It's that too. Kiss me again, brother. Ah! Up. Abomination. Heal again. I'll make you kneel like a dog, just as you did to Sean Hampton. No, that that that's fine. Sean Hampton is a is a happier man for it. I promise you. Also, how did you learn all of this? Got her. Woo! God damn. Well, brother, it's time to bring this conversation to an end. For we barely talked. You just attacked me, girl. I have you no attachment to you. Play this game. Calm now, doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Dr. Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the harbinger bringing your punishment. Mary. Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare. No dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. I don't even have a choice. I will find a cure, Mary. I swear it. I feel like that's a painful way to end it, but you know, it's fine. At last, I can forgive you. I mean, you shouldn't have been mad at me in the first place, but hey, that's okay.
Back to the grave. You've been out for just like two days. It's time to put you in the, in the grave again. Oh, we're gonna walk it. I can't change the camera. She's just staring. Staring me down, man. I don't appreciate the eyes. I think this is supposed to be like... Heart-wrenching is just not hitting me. You can't ask a player to give a crap about a character that you never knew. <laughs> I get it. Sister and all, but... Alright, girl. I thought she dug a tunnel. It doesn't look like she dug much of a tunnel. Back into that schlop hole you go. Hi. How you doing, buddy? A few nights later. Well... Blood. As I shed one last red tear for my fallen sister, I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire. Born anew into an age of death and pestilence, while plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. I do like the scientific take on it all. Lady Ashbury's invitation. Dear Dr. Reed, I hope this letter will quickly find you, for I need to speak to you as soon as possible. The situation is evolving very quickly in West End, and I'm convinced we are all now in great danger. The Guard of Pruin has launched a great hunt in London, and for a few nights, they have been actively searching and killing any econ they can locate. Lord Redgrave, a chairman of the Ascalon Club, recently contacted me. He wishes to meet you immediately. Please come to my mansion any night that suits you. We must discuss all of this. With this letter, you will find an official pass that will allow you to go through any barricade or quarantine checkpoint throughout the city. Your friend, Lady Ashbury. How useful. I'm glad that I've got, my, you know, whatever I need. The flower's dying. Well, it's it been dying, water. and I've been wanting to give it water. Do we have any better clothing I can wear? Or is it just the same two that we've had since we've started? Which is, like, the weird hat, you know, for a night on the town. Which we know we'll wear that for a little while. The the loading has made me feel like I need to just be in a bowler cap and all all the wonderful aspects that come with looking ridiculous. Alright. Uh let's do a couple things first. We're gonna analyze some things. That gives us level two of blood serum. And a level two of the strong regeneration. Do we have any need for any of this. How about a headache cure? A few of them. We'll get neuralgia just in case. We'll have at least two of everything. And then we'll break all of this down. I'm going to see if I can upgrade my weapons now. Alright. First things first. The Dragon Bane. Let's upgrade this thing. Level 3 please. Hell yes. Level 4. Nope. What do we want to give it? Uh, absorb blood points when the weapon hits. Yep, more of that. Thank you. And then we have this. We can level three it. And then more of that. Beautiful. So we need a little bit more to make them level t uh, level four and such. But other than that, we're good. And I don't really need to level up too much right now. So I'm going to pop out. Everybody should be good here in the hospital. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. You're babbling. Uh, why don't we work on some side quests? Good lord. Whitechapel needs a lot of help. We should go to Whitechapel and really bring everybody back under. Yeah, why don't we do Whitechapel, and while we're in Whitechapel, why don't we do some side quests for Whitechapel? So, we'll work on a bunch of different ones. Uh, and let's go, let's go to Whitechapel. 
and we're, we're you know, we're, we're quite fancy right now. Our, uh, our wonderful clothing and attire make us look phenomenal. Can I use pop? Yes. All right. There we go. Hopefully we come across some of the more rare crafting parts to bring our weapons up a little bit to uh, like level four. But at the moment, I thought I heard we'll, we'll eat a rat. I can't believe I'm doing this. I mean, I can. I cannot enter. Hmm. Okay. No loud knocking anymore. I can't remember if there's a faster way to Whitechapel or not. All right, we're here. <laughs> the answer was yes, there was. I found it. And I just want to stay here and, and do some good for Whitechapel. They need a little bit of help. Well, maybe we can go around. I can't remember. I want to be over here. Drink them. Okay. All right. That worked out. Can we? Where are we? We're here. Whitechapel's so far back. This is not the way. Honestly, it may seem like I'm annoyed by how the levels are laid out. I actually really like the level design and the world design for the game. Um, it's like wonderfully confusing in in a way that that feels real, and the uh, the actual. Uh, what's that? Flew. The actual, uh, interiors and stuff feel lived in, and that, that's awesome. I love that. I love that a lot. Uh. We're in Finsbury. Which I don't want to be in Finsbury. But I can't drop down there. I want to be in Whitechapel and stay in Whitechapel. Like, where am I right now? If I go back that way and bang a right, so maybe I need to be over there. This place is doing no good either. You first. Man, we can clean up if we get the combos going. Oh, Jesus. Hospital, and then we can just beeline it to Whitechapel. So, yeah, this is the right way. Drink up, heal up. Goodbye. Your panic swings, man. Go down. God damn. All right. We can bang a right. Here, give me some. You know what? No, it doesn't matter. Uh oh. This is despicable. 
Uh, I think the game minorly glitched for a moment. I, cause I hit A to drink the, the rat and then like weirdly animation canceled it. And he got a little like stuck. I couldn't press anything and nothing was working. He could just run. But that seems to have fixed itself luckily. He just decided to whine about rats regardless of whether he actually, you know, ate one or not. All right. So side quest is where we're gonna go. Along the way, hopefully, We'll heal some people up. Ulti. Bye. We gotta drop one of these so we can heal our maximum health. What? Man. No. Ow! Oh my god! Do you see how much damage one shot from that thing did? The answer is a ridiculous amount. God, Jesus. My dude! My dude! My dude. Stop. Whew. All right. Yikes. <laughs> I was not ready for him to be whooping me so hard there, but such is life, I guess. Let's see if I can sneak up on him. I can't. So bye. Fully heal myself. It's a skull. I'll let him be for now. I don't particularly care. There's a beast down there. Great. I'll leave that alone. Oh, there's so many skull here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we're gonna have to fight. Okay. Yeah, claws are, claws are very good. <laughs> They're very good for me. All right, we know if I go that way that's where people are gonna end up being. So let's actually go, okay, can you please walk? Let's go this way and see the people who need it most. There's Xiao Shun. So that's a good sign. You're dead. You're good, oddly. All right, here's someone with a cold. And yeah, perfect, perfect. This is what we need. Good evening. You have, you need medical you help. Look ill, Miss Swanra. Here, take my medicine. Well, there you have it. Take this remedy, but be discreet. It may damage your business otherwise. Thank you. Let's see. How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? When people buy guns instead of medication, it means they have already traded hope for fear in their hearts. In my book, that's never a good thing, Doctor. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing there. And I don't really care Goodbye, about concoctions. Now there's another guy who has neurologia, which is a problem. Everything. All right, you have like... I'm afraid not, Miss... All right, well... You don't seem... I always... Yeah, well, take this. I can try to help your body heal. The war destroyed me, Doctor. Okay. That's it. That's all he needed. How are conditions in Whitechapel these days? I hear gunshots every night. It's just like the war in the trenches, Doctor. I can't stand it. Anything else? No. A gun? Well, I'm just here to do my, my traveling, traveling medical medicine man duties. I'm trying to help everybody here heal from whatever horrendous illnesses they may or may not be suffering from. How I know that they're suffering is even beyond me, other than the fact that I can tell from a million miles away by looking at a spreadsheet, like real doctors. That's how they know that you're sick, by the way. They don't necessarily put a stethoscope up to your chest and listen for fluids or anything like that. They just look at a spreadsheet and they say, yeah, it's about, it's about this time that uh, this person should be sick, so. Bronchitis. People are talking about this. Yeah, well. Good evening, sir. If you're here for a reward, I'm oh, not this is the guy saved. Doctor, in Whitechapel, do you require a... not me, but yours? All right, first, since I well, 
Okay, get this. Infecting you is probably the last thing on these people's minds. Take this in any case. What? You give me this for free? <sighs> yeah, I'm a nice guy. Have you heard anything about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Not really. Okay. Why am I not convinced? Maybe it's because you lack faith. Being a skeptic must be useful for a man of science. Skeptic? I don't know what to tell you. I didn't think I was skeptic. How are conditions in Whitechapel at present? The way this sickness is spreading, I don't think there'll be enough new bloods to replace those tenants I'm losing from this bloody thing. I'm working on it. It's unusual to see someone so happy around here, especially considering the current situation. <laughs> Why should I be sad now? There have always been wars, disease, tragedy. There always will be. That's an unusual way of seeing things in these trying times. I don't see why I should shed a tear for another man's woes. I'm healthy, and I intend to stay so. What is your business, exactly? I offer fair lodgings for a modest price to the poor and weary of Whitechapel. I see. And what about those who cannot pay? Well, deals can be done, if you know what I mean. Money's not the only currency. After all, I'm not immune to a pretty face. Um... In other words, you take advantage of these poor lost souls. Begging your pardon, I thought you was a man who could appreciate the complexity of the modern world. Things ain't just black and white, you know. Eat dick, brother. I don't care, you're being mean. Oh, I hiccup. Tell me. What's your honest opinion of the increasing violence in London? People are just beginning to discover what we've always known. This city's rotten to the core. They just took their bloody time to wake up and notice it. What do you mean? People are acting like the violence is news. But it's always been savage down here. It just bubbles to the surface every now and again. What help could I possibly be to your business? That's simple. I already get good money from all those fleeing the war. Can you imagine what they'd be willing to pay if I could offer medical assistance to... Mr. Bates, do not make me regret saving your life in this quarantine zone. I understand, Dr. Reed, you're from a good family. Don't want to get your hands dirty. That's fine. I'll be happy to act as your middleman. I've no interest in money. Perhaps one night I will visit you and take what I require. If that should happen, there will be no need for a middleman. So it's a no then. That's too bad. The reed tonic could have really helped people, you know, save lives. Isn't that what you do? I mean, people buy that swamberous shit. Yeah, I really want to kill this guy, but I have a feeling it's not going to be a good thing. Have you heard? Not really. A man such as yourself, knee-deep in the muck of Whitechapel, must know more. Speak now. Heard it closed after the owners died. Refugees don't want to come to Whitechapel no more. Scared, I hear. Great, so I you ruined it by doing as the quest. As she was there at the dispensary, it attracted more immigrants and kept my place full. Such a shame. Whoops. You seem to have recovered well since your attack. Do you ever think about what happened to you? Not much. It was a fucking nightmare. Savages. Absolute bloody savages. Their appearance. Jesus. That made me want to puke. You'd better not come back here. I won't be around next time to save you. I'm, I'm surprised he's not like, yeah, but you're a doctor. How did you move so quickly and nimbly? I want to know everything about the recent violence, Cadogan. And I want the truth. Well, rent may be a bit high, and yeah, I've had to evict a few people. But that's business, isn't it? Mm. Take this as my final warning. You will not profit from the misery of others. Business is one thing, but what you do is quite another. Really? What you gonna do? You ain't from here. You ain't Whitechapel, Doctor. You wouldn't know the first thing about playing dirty, even if you wanted to. I'm curious. <laughs> he has no relationships. Do I want to be a dick and kill him? He only is worth a thousand experience. He's not worth, like, jack squat, unfortunately. I don't know, man. He's not part of a social circle. Let's be a dick. 
Let's be a little bit of a dick. Maybe you should let him recover first, and then his his ex blood. I uh, know. I think his blood is is where it's as like worth it as it's gonna be. And you know what? We should mess around a little bit and take out somebody. Hey man, I can't do anything with you yet. Oh, because there's somebody there. Yeah, you come this way. Don't worry about them. Oh, is it leading me where I can actually chomp him down? Cadogan Bates, man. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I almost did it. suddenly like way higher level than me maybe I should sleep but not until I heal everybody I can't I can't let like a night pass where the the uh the sick continue to remain sick maybe once uh this white chapel's not in serious condition I'll, I'll kill off Cadigan Bates but I kind of maybe should want to wait a little bit before I do that just for my own sake so I don't accidentally get like punished for, for removing him too early. Okay, so what I need right now is to retrieve Barrett Lewis's box. Ill-formed blinker skull. That sounds horrible. Horrible? Horrible? But I thought it was up here. It said up. We got some good handle parts. Maybe it's down there? I don't know. We'll go down. I don't like that I'm very low on blood, though. And I'm not seeing what I need. The ill-formed blinker skull is not here. What's it saying? Yeah, it's saying it's here somewhere. The, why does this the blinker skull blink into garlic clouds or poison clouds, whatever the hell it's supposed to be? It doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. All right, it's gotta be around. Not what I'm looking for. Whoops. Is there another one? Nope. It says it's up there. 
But where up there? All right, that's where I came from. Can I port up anywhere else? No. I'm blind, right? Oh, oh, this is a third level. Third level. This there it is. Lewis thought he lost. Beautiful. There's a letter inside. I hear the. I actually hear a big ass beast. Yeah, I don't want to fuck with that. Not without my alt. Let him do what he wants. Wait, what? Retrieve Barrett Lewis's box. Did I not just do that? Huh? Is it in my inventory, maybe? I need to pop it. Barrett, there's no easy way to say it, so I'm going to be blunt. We can't keep on like this. At least I can't keep on like this. If Joe ever finds out about us, about his wife and his best friend, it will crush him, and then he will kill you. We had some, uh, we had some good time together, but let's face it, I'm never going to be like be your Jane Lewis. You know it, and I know it too. So I'm ending this right here and right now. If you agree with my decision, I'm sure we'll find a way to be happy again, you, Joe, and me in time. And then the most important part of our story will have been pre preserved. Till that day, I wish you'd forgive me. Goodbye for now, Jane Peterson. A love letter from Joe Peterson's wife addressed to Barrett Lewis. Who should I give it to, I wonder? You give it to Joe. You don't wanna. Because he's going to kill the other person, probably. But he deserves to know. A friend who cheats is not a friend at all. And so, that is who it will go to. The man who deserves to know, truly. I hear people. This way? Oh. Okay, I can't sprint anymore. I mean, I can't do uh, the teleporting anymore, which is always a good sign. All right, we'll see if we can find them. I can hear people talking. Cadigan, you're a dick. Barrett Lewis, which we do not want to give it to, but everybody else we do. All right. Oh, it's Thanks these guys. Something, sir. You never lose your. F um. Do you need help, sir? To be honest, let's give him. I don't quite agree, but I won't argue with you. Please take this. You'll feel better. Really? Free? Now, Goodbye, actually, I'm thinking a little bit differently because he has a son to take care of. This guy, and if he finds out. You again. Fuck, man. Tough call. On, I'll keep you. There is a cool ride. I'll give it to Joe? No, Joe was the one that was cheating. Goodbye. I'll never become your Jane Lewis. It was Joe's wife. Right. I should give it to you him. Again. Let's do it. I think the documents in this box God, could be of some interest. I understand really? the worry, but... Where'd you get it? I found it in an abandoned building nearby. I thought you might want to keep these letters. Let me see. Ah, uh, letters about my boy. Thank you, sir. You do not appear surprised or pained by this. Surprised about what? Harry's my son, I'm his father, and that's all there is to know, don't you think? Yes, I suppose. Oh, that went actually Here's super well. For your trouble, and to remind you to keep your mouth shut about all this. Did I get confused? Did I give it to the wrong person? You're fine. How is the sanitary situation? I'm not easily scared, but crazy killers and armed patrols are lurking about. My son's right about this place. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, that did not go down as I was expecting it to. 
not a bad thing, I guess. What else we got? Inspect the bodies. Uh, we'll definitely do that. So, recovering, recovering. Migraine. Recovering. Recovering. They're actually almost fully taken care of, which is supreme. The supreme meme dream. Christina, let's talk. So pale, my lord. I am incredibly pale. Good evening, Christina. Change your mind, Mr. Not at all, girl. Do you need any... It's... Here you go. I'm sure. Forgive my suspicion. There you go. Goodbye, miss. Taking care of everybody in Whitechapel like the good doctor in a bowler hat should. That's just how I roll. Is this door locked? Can I pop it? Has it been popped? It has not been popped. It has been popped now. That's the Whitechapel streets. Beautiful. All right. We're going to wrap this episode up here. I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching. We got some main story done. We got a side quest done. And we're going to clean up Whitechapel. We're going to finish cleaning up Whitechapel in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. And as always, I'll see all of you next time.